Hello there. I greet you all with the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, dear brothers and sisters. Today, according to our church calendar, is the first day of the Great Lent. The Great Lent is the time or the season when we commemorate the 40 days Jesus spending in the desert and fasting. And this story we read in the book of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. The first chapters where the gospel explains how Jesus went to the desert and spent 40 days in the desert fasting and also meditating with God's presence. Before Easter and during the 40 days, we prepare ourselves to celebrate Easter, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a time when we fast, and when I say fasting, I'm sure some of you know that fasting is the definition of refraining ourselves, self-controlling ourselves, and especially food. When we have in our church tradition, when we fast and we try avoid all the food that are derived from animals like milk, chocolate, meat, chicken, all those foods that derive from animals. The Lenten season is the time or the process when we prepare ourselves to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is 40 days, however, if we count correctly, it is 49 days and this is the time when we have the 40 days of Lent and then the last week, which is the Holy Week. However, it's mostly known as 40 days of the Great Lent. When we think about Lent and we think about self-control, refrain ourselves from food. Today, when it is the first day of the Great Lent, I'm sure some of you have already made their decisions about refraining themselves or controlling themselves from different things, attitudes, or actually food. However, it is important to remind ourselves and to explore more about the idea of Lent and this process, which is self-examination time. When we would like to fast and refrain ourselves from food, it is a great idea. However, Lent is more important when we think from different perspective, which is the spiritual perspective and the spiritual approach. Today, when we think about Lent, let's all think about our spiritual preparation. And as you remember last week when I talked about spiritual responsibility, it is almost the same concept that we try to apply during Lenten season. If I would suggest or if I would advise someone how to apply fasting or how to approach to the understanding of Lenten season, I would give very simple advice and very simple comment that I can make. Avoid some anything from anything that you feel you are addicted. So if someone would ask me, Pastor Derhaid, how can I prepare myself for the resurrection of our Lord? Then I would say, refrain yourselves from anything that you feel you are addicted. Today, my message will be very short. And actually, I was planning to, you know, change this, apply it this week, the context and the timing so that's why I'm going to try to make it shorter so I won't take your time from your busy life. But my only suggestion would be, while you start Lent, which is today, just try and train yourselves so you can refrain yourself from anything you are addicted. Some people are addicted to smoking, some people are addicted to eating, some people are addicted to drinking anything, alcohol, 
and different things and attitudes that we have and we are addicted addicted which means we are controlled by we are dependent by those attitudes so my advice will be to you for this day while we start our great land just refrain yourself and avoid from anything that you are addicted and then we will be prepared and this preparation time will be good for our sake and it will be good for our spiritual life and our spiritual growth and together we are going to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.